Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to use wrappers to inject reshade into older games and games that can be improved upon. So, sometimes you want to use reshade on a game that has a really old renderer or doesn't support it by default. Sometimes it's possible to circumvent this using wrappers in which will translate the game's old let's say video language video API to a newer one which is what this tool will be doing today now there's multiple tools to do this to multiple different renderers but for this tutorial I'll use DG Voodoo 2 because it's easier to use than the others and it works for various different renderers and the link to download it will be on the description and I'll be using three example games first one is Midtown Madness 2 it's a DirectX 7 game, Direct 3D. It's really old. I'll be using Carmageddon 2, which is a 3D FX glide game. And Unreal Tournament 2004, which is a DirectX 8 game. Now, this one I could be using a simple wrapper, but DG Voodoo 2 has been making it easier to find the depth buffers in case you want to use advanced effects like ambient occlusion or depth of field on it. So, First thing we need to do is we need to run DG Voodoo and add the game directory we want it to use to the list. So we're gonna hear it on add. I'll go to the shortcut. Let's start with Metal Madness. We select its folder and we'll click here on DirectX because the game is a DirectX 7 game. And this those options can be chosen to your liking. Each one of those does something different, like this changes the virtual GPU RAM, which is the maximum VRAM it will use of your real GPU. Here I'll be using 2 GB so it doesn't lag or stutter with heavy effects. Those are completely optional, but I'll be changing them here. So don't mind much about those things I'm changing now. And those are all done we click apply and then OK now you might think that it is installed but it isn't it is set up to run with the game but it's lacking the actual DG Voodoo DLL so what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy D3DM and ddraw.dll to the game directory it has to be both together, it can't be one or the other because those depend on each other. You're gonna do that and you're gonna copy it to the game directory. So we go here and we paste it there. Now DG Voodoo should be installed, you will see a watermark, but we need reshade too since we want to test all at once. So we gotta go here and reshade setup. Now we can click here to select a game and set it its render it to the correct one but I like it to do the manual way because I have more control over the installation so we'll be doing that. To do it the manual way you hold the control button and then you click on this button here. Now all of the DLLs are extracted. Now you might want to delete those three files because we ain't gonna be using them so you can keep just that one so what we're gonna do we're gonna cut or copy it to the game directory and rename it to our renderer in this case it's dxgi.dll because it's a it has been translated from directx7 to directx11 calls next step we will run midtown2.exe which is the game and if all went alright, it should show that reshade is installed and it should show the prompt here and also a DG Voodoo watermark on the bottom of the screen. So it worked. As you can see here, it's a DirectX 11 game and it has the reshade prompt. I can configure it, I can manipulate shaders when I saw them of course not part of this tutorial and there it is it worked so up to the next game so the next game on the list will be Carmageddon 2 which is a 3D effects game 
again, you're going to need to go to DG Voodoo, add its directory. <coughs> Mine is located here. And select its folder. Now, we will be using Glide here because it's a 3D FX game. And you can use other greater GPUs to use more resources, but those are incompatible with older games if they don't ha if they have limits hard coded on which GPUs and how much of memory can they can use. So I'll be using the safe option here, which is a Voodoo 2. I'll be setting it to 12 megabytes of onboard RAM and two TMUs because I can set those. I'll be turning off anti-aliasing anti MSAA because those block death buffer effects from being used, so <clears throat> let's apply. And then to install that you will need to go to the 3D effects folder instead of the MS1 because it ain't a DirectX game anymore. And you're gonna copy the files to the game directory again. Now the same steps as to install in Reshade. Click on the setup. Delete the files we're gonna use. Place that here. Oh, I don't have any space. Hold on. This is gonna be quick. Uh, there we go. And boom, done. Now you rename it, and then you run the game. Again, if all worked, it should appear right here, and yes, it did. The 3D11 reshade is now installed successfully. Press home to install the to start the tutorial. Now, I won't be doing that right now because I still have one more game to show, but I will wait for the game to load itself. And yes. So here we go on the way to our last game. Hold on, it froze. Okay, that wasn't part of the plan, but anyways, moving on. Last one, a real tournament 2004. Now this one I tested before and it worked just fine, so I ain't gonna worry much about this. I'm just going to basically retrace the steps uh, we did before. So let's get to it. Now you go here, you add its directory. Real tournament. Oh, it's on the other phone. Hold on. There we go. It's already on the game directory. It's a DirectX game. Even though it's not a DirectX 7 game, it's a DirectX 8 game. So those will be choosing to my liking. There. There. Here we go. Now this time you will use the 3D8.dll because it's a DirectX 8 game. It shouldn't need a, such an advanced wrapper, but as I said in the start of the video, this one helps finding depth buffer, so I'll be using it. And now, once again, to reshade itself. Go this way. Delete that. Rename that. Move it here. And let's hope it works because I honestly didn't test this one after I formatted the game so I am not sure if it will run at first so let's see alright CD key invalid but that's basically it it should work I am sorry I didn't test this one last game but it should work just fine if you like the video make sure to subscribe because I'll be posting more tutorials in the future if you have any other suggestions of what tutorial I should do next, please, based on the comments below, any other problems as well. And I'll see you next time on the next tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps you.